well i had really good fun in the toy shop that was excellent now this is my last day in bethlehem so let's see what else in the map done the stable in the fisher spear the spice shop the wool trader and the toy shop and all along the way we've learned about jesus the only thing left on my map is bethlehem bakery oh i do like a little bit of bread do you want to come with me i think it's just around the corner from here come along oh looks like a bakery i can hear something somebody coming spencer come on come with me a little bit much so you know in the tutoring I can do without but it'd be nice when you come home and, and you can bring the uppy with you if you like good afternoon Sarah all right Trevor how are you I'm all right thanks it's Nate is it oh hello I'm oh, sorry I do get confused with all these different customers coming in I don't usually see you in the bakery. I didn't know you were working here now. No, well, I was just standing in for Tabitha because she burnt one too many buns, so she had to go. I tell you, there is quite a lot of technique involved here, Ron. You have to place your dough right on top of the heated coals. And quick as a flash, you can go from a soggy bottom to a crispy one. Or you've had to get my shovel out and dig a big hole as tall as me to make an in-ground oven heated by fire. I tell you, I thought the inn was hard work until I started this. Where did you get all this flour from? Well, I did grind it myself, Dave. I did. It took that me worries hours. Me. It took me hours because I didn't know how to work the grinding stones. But luckily, I found a camel and they brought him with me and he did trample it down for me. Got it done in no time. Well, I thought I would be popping in for something nice to eat. Well, you've come to the right place, because I've got so much bread, I just don't know what to do with it all. Uh, I, I was thinking of something a, a bit sweeter. Oh, you could try some of these lovely cakes here. I tell you, I would be eating them all, but I'm cutting down, so I'm only eating six to seven at a time now. You've really cut back. I know! I know I have. I'm practically wasting away. I would blow away in a stiff breeze now, I would. Yeah, you can tell, Sarah. Oh, thank you for noticing. No, you can give me a hand, could you, Dave? Because I'm all on my own and I've had to make our best seller, Bethlehem bread. I reckon this is just what you're going to be looking for. It's on special offer this week, you know. Two for the price of three. And it's going down really well. In fact, it's selling like hot cakes. Bargain to be had. Well, all right, but I can't be too long because uh, I need to get back to work. You know, the camels, they won't clean themselves. No, you're not wrong there, they won't, no. So first of all, we're going to need to wash our hands for at least 21 seconds while singing happy birthday or something hand wash similar. Okay. What about, what about working at the hand wash? Working at the hand, hand wash. wash. I know what you did there. That's working at the hand wash, girls. One more giddy. No. Ready, steady, bake! Right, now is the time to make Bethlehem bread, and the recipe will be appearing on a scroll for you to try this at home. Okay, uh, so what's first? We need to take two slices of bread and take off the crusts nice and carefully, don't rush. So, have you heard this one? The two slices of bread decided to leave the bakery because we wanted to grow mould together. Oh! <laughs> what I'm looking for today is really, really neat out edges, Nate and Sarah. Step two, spread two tablespoons of butter on your bread. Thank you. Okay. 
What did one slice of butter say after a long day? He said, don't worry, tomorrow will be butter. <laughs> the tricky thing is making sure that the butter is soft enough not to make holes in the bread. The key is to carefully sprinkle the right amount of cinnamon so that it's not too sweet. We really want subtle, delicate taste. You don't want too much. Step four. Yeah. Roll the bread yeah. rectangle and cut into four pieces to create mini cinnamon rolls. Oh, I'm so excited at this. The four pieces must be the same size for that perfect touch of elegance. Four identical rolls. Time's up. Please place your baked Bethlehem bread on the beautiful gingham table. That is goat. Greatest of all time. Fab you lust, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I put so much work into that and effort. It's, it's just really so pleasing to be rewarded. But I think I did a nice job in the end. Do you want I to pass it I can't because you? of uh, so social distancing. Social distancing, I, I can't, I can't. Well, that's just rude, that is. Well done. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah! I'm so happy. Do I get a bitter ball? No. Or a fancy cake stand? Nothing. Oh, I think I will take these ones, please. Yeah, you can take them away with you right now. Just take them away. You know, everyone is so excited to celebrate Jesus' birthday. Ooh. I will still get so excited after all these years. Yes, I know I'm old. Who wrote that line? But it really is the most exciting thing in my heart. Oh, oh, you remember when Jesus was born here in our little town? He was such a tiny thing, but he did really big things. Oh, he went on to do marvellous things. Once when he was older, Jesus fed more than 5,000 people. That's more than go to a football game these days. No. Yeah, the crowds had followed Jesus. He had compassion on them and had been healing the sick, yeah. and it got really late. Oh and the disciples wanted to send everyone away yeah. to buy food, but Jesus said to them, you give them something to eat. Oh, so what did they do? Yeah, well, there was no just eat then. They brought Jesus five loaves and two small fish. Well, now's that going to feed all them people? Five loaves and two tiny little fish? Listen to this. Right. He told the people to sit down. Right. Taking the five loaves and the two fish yeah. and looking up to heaven. Yeah. He gave thanks and broke the loaves. And then he gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the people. What happened next? Well, they all ate and they were satisfied. Mm. 
and the disciples picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over. No! Wowzers! You mean to say that Jesus fed 5,000 people with just five loaves and two small fishies? Well, that's a bakery shut down, isn't it? Well, it was more than that. More than that? There were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. Oh my goodness, Wayne, that is the most incredible no, no, miracle. Nate. Nate, oh sorry, what do I say? Wayne. Oh, sorry, Dave. I mean, if you had been there and seen that happen, that must have been the totally amazing miracle to see. Well, Jesus was with us then, and he is with us now. Yeah, he is, you know. Well, I need to go and set up for my little celebration. So, bye, Sarah. Mm, that sounds nice. How many people you got coming? Well, just the, just the five of us in the garden, socially distanced. Oh, five. Uh, Auntie Barbara's. I had to stay home with the old goat. Oh, goat greatest of all times. Fabulous, darling. I get it, news. I get it, news. Now, you see, Trevor, it's the rule of six, you no, see. No, Nate. And, and, and you got... My name's Nate. All oh, right, Ron, you got five, right? Which means you can have six, so there might be some room for me at your little party, because I would be the six. How lovely would that be? Hmm. OK, well, or, 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 I could just stay here by myself. We've no ones to talk to. No, it's been lonely since the camel went to Norfolk. And I suppose I do miss my hubby a little bit. But you just have a lovely afternoon. Yeah, what well, we'll do. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. Bye. <laughs> you all right? What do you uh, if, if, if you're not too busy, yeah. rebaking. Would you like to come to the celebration? Oh, I would really love to. I can bring these cakes that we did make here. Look, you are too kind. Come on, I've, I've still got the laundry basket. Which my laundry basket for? It ain't mine. I ain't got one. I tell you what though, I haven't seen my marbles in a while. I haven't seen my marbles in a while. Perhaps I can, do you want, sure you don't want a cake? Are you looking for my marbles? Well, wasn't it fantastic? I just loved that Bake Off. It really, really made me laugh so much. Now, our little tour around Bethlehem was really so exciting because at every stop, we learned so much about Jesus, who's born today. So that's really exciting, that miracle of Jesus, that because he was born today on Christmas day, touches so many lives, touches us in every aspect of our life. I hope you have enjoyed the series. There are the crafts, all the activities are on the resource center. I hope you're having good fun and good cheer for with all your family. See you next year for even more adventures. Bye. I think I'll take these ones please. These ones please, your okay. ones please. <laughs> Go again, go again. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. we're, um, there's a bit where we need to be standing up, so. You, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll always be there for you. <laughs> we're going to sleep. <laughs> how many, to, how many treats does it take to knit, knit, knit a blanket? <laughs> you got the best gag, you missed the best gag out! That's, that's your one. Right, okay. Go from the right, hang on, we'll get it one more time. This, this is the funny one. Right. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get this one right. Yeah. That's right. The wife says to me, it's coming. <laughs> Poof! Yeah. Okay. Right, that's Are it. Are you happy with yeah. that? Is that... <laughs> well, I don't know. Are we happy um, with that? <laughs> And free hay for your wrong, sorry. We have all the modern features, skylights, that's the old in the room. Oh, I can't say it, sorry, right, let's dig in. And, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Elvis is left. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>